What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to add likes to our profile pages for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add likes to our profile pages. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we added the ability to like or unlike a post. You can see right here, we have one like. We can like it. It goes to two likes. Same thing. But if we go to our profile page, that isn't there. And if we also go to other people's profile pages, well, we probably need to find one that has some tweets. It isn't there either. So we need to add the ability to like or unlike a tweet on a profile page. And it actually has a bit of a challenge to it. So we're going to look at that in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over here to our templates home.html. And this is what we worked on in the last video. And let's just come down here and grab the code that shows the number of likes. So there it is right here. And I'm just going to copy this and let's bring this over to our profile page, which is profile.html. And let's kind of look through here. And here's the meat body. And inside of here, I'm just going to say test and save this. And let's head back over to the site real quick. Hit reload and there it says test. So, okay, we know we're in the right place. So let's head back over here and get rid of that test and just paste in that code from the home page. So let me move this over so it's sort of easier to read. Save this, head back over here, hit reload, and we see zero likes. So all right, let's go over to our profile. And all of these are zero likes, but this one says two likes. So okay, it seems to be working. So now we need the code to actually like or unlike a thing. So let's head back over to our home page and come back down here. And here's that code. If you don't understand this code, check the video from last week in the playlist. We went through all of this in great detail. So I'm just going to copy this. And if we come back over here and just paste all this in, and maybe we want to tab it over. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. Head back over here, hit reload. Okay, so here's where the problems come. We're on the profile page, and if we click like, it heads back to the home page. Now, if we go back to my profile, we can see, yep, sure enough, there's the like. If we try to unlike it, boom, it goes again back to the home page. And that's kind of a hassle. That's really not what we want. That's really kind of the only problem we're dealing with here. So not a big issue, but we definitely need to address this. So what can we do? Well, let's head over here to our views.py file. And let's look at our, what did we call it? Meep like function. And we're passing in the request. And down here, when everything's said and done, we're redirecting home. Well, we don't really want to redirect home. We want to redirect back to the profile page. The problem is, let's see, if we go to our profile page, my profile is profile slash one, right? If you go to the profile list and click on Bob's, his profile is profile slash four. So we need to know which profile to redirect to, right? So that's kind of a hassle. Also, when we're on the home page and we like or unlike something, we still want to get redirected back to the home page. So we could have any number of profile pages to redirect to or the home page to redirect to. How do we know which to do, what to do? What do we do? Well, what we do know, whenever we're on a page, we know what page we're on. So if we're on my profile, we know we're on this profile slash one page. If we're on the home page, we know we're on the home page. That's what's called a refer. So anytime we submit a form or click a link, we're going somewhere and we're being referred to that somewhere from somewhere else. We're, we're being referred. So we can access the refer HTTP header, I guess. Yeah, the HTTP header refer. Referrer. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, we could play with this very easily. So let's come down here. And if we want to just see, we can print this out. But we want the request.meta dot get and we want to get the http underscore refer header right so let's just print this to the terminal so if i save this head back over here and let's do it from my profile so here our refer is profile slash one so if we like well we get an error because this needs to be in quotation marks there we go 
All right, so now if we head back over here, click like, it still sends us back to the home page. But if we go to our terminal and control C to break out of this, we can see it's printed out localhost colon 8000 slash profile slash one. So this is essentially this, right? So instead of redirecting home, we can just redirect to this thing. So let's get rid of that and just paste this in. I can get rid of that print thing now. Okay, so let's turn our terminal back on. So Python manage.py run server, head back over here, hit reload. Now let's like or unlike from the homepage. So I'm gonna unlike this first one. Boom, it redirects back to the homepage because that's the page that referred us, right? So we can like again. All right, so we can go to my profile. Let's like this one. Boom, it refers us right back to our profile page. We see the like. We can unlike, boom, that goes to zero. We're still on this profile page, which is what we want. We can check somebody else. Let's go to the profile list, click on old Bob. Let's like Bob's post, boom, it redirects us right back to Bob's profile. You don't even hardly notice you've left. And again, we can unlike, like and unlike to our heart's content. And all right, we were good to go. So pretty simple, just a little glitch that's very easy to take care of. And you could use this HTTP refer thing other places as well. Maybe you want to do this when you follow or unfollow somebody, you want to refer back to that thing. So here, if we follow April, boom, it sends us to April's profile. Maybe we don't want that. Maybe we want to uh, refer back to this profile. We would add that to the redirect. Or maybe you like it the way it is. Play around with it. Totally up to you. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeofy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 160,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeofy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.